Hey everyone, I um, was um, changing out my opt-in and I wanted to go ahead and make a quick video to share what I learned. So what drives me crazy about Mail MailerLite is that, for example, I will show you. On the sidebar of my blog, um, you know, I have my opt-in form. Currently, it's for a free meal planning guide. Um, but what drove me crazy is that I couldn't put an image in here. I always like to show my guests or, you know, the subscribers what they're going to be opting into. So what I figured out is that you can put an image. So really quick, I am going to show you how. First thing you want to do is take a screenshot of your opt-in, um, whatever that is. Um, usually it's some type of printable worksheet or a guide or um, anything like that. So whatever that image is that you want to, sorry, the children are loud, <laughs> they're playing a game. Okay, so here's my image. I went ahead and added, I, I um, opened up to make a new page on my site. I'm just going to save it as a draft. It's never going to be live. Um, and then I added media and I went ahead and uploaded my the screenshot. You always want to change the title and the alt text um, so that it doesn't show up in search engines as this right here, screenshot, blah, blah, blah. You want it to have like a searchable name so that, because um, this may show up in a search engine if somebody is looking for that. So anyway, I went ahead and made it smaller um, because uh, I needed the dimensions to be exact for MailerLite. Um, so you can make it whatever size you would like, um, but I went ahead and made mine um, 250 by 324. So here is my opt-in of what they're going to receive and here is the code. What you're going to do now is copy this code and it's got, you know, it's going to be centered, um, it's got the um, the image source here and then, um, you know, the alt text and then the um, dimensions and then the closing tab. So you're going to take this code, copy it, you're going to go back over to MailerLite, where you are editing your um, subscriber form, um, where they can sign up. This is currently, this was the one on my sidebar, so I'm um, just editing it to change it out. So, and uh, I'm just going to change all the text and everything. So, what you're going to do with the code that you had copied is you're going to paste it in here. You're going to go here. Initially, this was not here. This is my code that I pasted in from my WordPress, um, uh, the WordPress code of the image. So you paste it in here, you click OK, and there's your image. And if it's a little too big, you can shrink it down a little just like you can in WordPress, um, the same way you do in WordPress. So if your image is too big, you can always um, just you grab it at the corner and kind of move it around as needed. So that is um, how you will be able to add in an image into your opt-in form. I hope that was helpful. I'm going to go ahead and complete this, um, you know, switching out everything, but I just wanted to um, record this video as raw as it is um, while I had the code, while I had everything pulled up. Um, you start in WordPress with your image and you take that text that um, you place it in right here into the code right here. This is my text. There we go. And that's how you uh, add an image into your opt-in box. Have a great day. Thanks for watching.